Hey, David Raffoff here. Today I'm going to be looking at doing sorting for a menu system uh, for a video game, uh, kind of an RPG style menu system. I uh, hope you're having a good day and uh, look forward to going through that with you. I'm going to get my screen share going here. So, um, yeah, here you can see on the left we've just got a list of menu items and then details on the right. And if we click on these, we're going to get um, the item selected. And then we can also scroll through our items over here. Um, if you haven't seen the previous videos in this series and you're interested, uh, this is actually, I think, the fifth video in the series of going through building this from scratch. Um, so the way this works at the moment is we have a uh, inventory uh, item list script and um, we basically maintain a list of inventory items and then as we pick them, they get updated on the right over here. And so I'm going to navigate to where we actually have our list of inventory items because we're going to start making some changes there. Here we go. So on our inventory item list script, we have a list. Um, now this is going to get a little uh, ambiguous because we're going to have both a list of menu items and um, a li uh, inventory list. So we want to start differentiating those two. Right now um, we're just treating it as one thing. And um, there's an idea when you're doing um, programming to when you're making a change that if you can do um, work first to make the change you're trying to make easy, um, it's nice to kind of get that out of the way and then you can make the change. And then that um, change in behavior will be uh, pretty easy to do at that point. So um, we're gonna kind of work in that spirit here. So if we go over to the code, uh, you can see right now the our list is right here. So it's just this default list of inventory items. And we're gonna make a couple changes to this. Um, so instead of calling this just generic list, we're gonna call it inventory items. And then up here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and include um, link, which is the nicer way of dealing with um, lists it lets you it has lots of uh, convenience methods that just aren't um, available for the generic collections so it's just a little bit easier to work with um, and we don't have to change anything it's still um, going to operate as a list so um, we should be good with that <clears throat> and then the other thing that we're going to need as we get through this is a, a list of game objects for a menu And what we're doing here is we're just breaking apart the idea of having um, a list of menu items and a list of um, game objects to display those menu items. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to add sorting. So we'll always have a set of uh, a, a list. Uh, sorry, we'll always have a set of inventory items. And we'll always have a set of menu items. But at the moment, they're just tightly coupled. You can't. Um, you can't like update the um, inventory item for a given menu item. And when we start doing sorting, what we're going to want to do is keep those menu items constant, but just re you know sort our inventory items and then reassign them to those uh, menu items. So uh, to do that, we just need to go ahead and make these two separate lists here. And now if we go back here, we're going to see that um, because we changed the name of the list, we're going to actually lose, uh, we should actually lose the items in our list here. Let's see if that goes away. Oh, well, maybe it's going to maintain it. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. So the name list does not exist in the current context. Um, let's see why it's not updating the UI. So because we have the serialized field, we should be seeing inventory items showing up as something we can change here. Let me try s switching game objects and coming back. Maybe that'll make a difference.
Yeah, so I would have expected this list to get updated. Maybe I have a... Um, oh, we have a script error, that's why. <clears throat> so we're still referring to um, things below as list. So we need to update those to be uh, inventory items. We'll just replace each of those and save that. Should be in a good spot. And then now we should see this to update. And yep, there we go. So we're going to have to uh, set that up again. So let's go ahead and um, set that to 15. And now we're going to have 15 empty slots that we need to fill. And I'm just going to randomly pull over um, different um, inventory uh, weapons over here to fill up our inventory. And the reason I want to have a longer list here is just so we can see the scrolling behavior continue. So forgive me while I do this. I know it's a little, um, uh, it's not the most exciting thing. <laughs> it's a little boring, but important. And let's get some more Daedric Swords. Can never have enough of those. All right, so now if we run this, we should see similar behavior that we saw before. And as we click on these, it should change. So everything's still working there. That's good. And now we can come back here and actually start making some changes. So um, something you'll notice here is at the moment when we add a menu item, <clears throat> what we're doing is um, we're taking um, this inventory item and we're, um, we're basically making a new menu item and setting up the labels and instantiating it and, um, setting it to active and doing a lot of, basically doing a lot of stuff, uh, inside add menu item. And, uh, we want to kind of like separate, um, separate this out a little bit more. So, um, and the reason we want to do that is we want a way to, um, uh, just, I don't know, we basically just want to like clean up uh, the add, the building of the menu and the setting of the menu items. So what we'll do is um, first we'll just add all of our uh, menu items in one pass. So some of the stuff we don't need, um, give me just a second. So yeah, basically we just want to build up the menu item first, just do the minimal set of things we need to um, make that happen. So here we'll do the instantiation, we'll set it to active, we'll set its parent. Um, so that'll um, just tell Unity where to insert the uh, new game object. And then all this stuff down here is really more about adding um, the inventory item to the menu item. So uh, we're just gonna get rid of that. We're gonna hold on to it. And <clears throat> we wanna keep track of these menu items that we're creating. So now that we are using link, we can just do menu item add, and we can add our menu item. And if we go up here, now we have a step for adding menu items. Um, but we also want to set the menu items. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we need to make a method for that. So we'll go down here. We'll do a void set menu items. And this isn't going to do much. This is just going to loop over um, the menu items. So we'll just start with uh, the zeroth menu item, which is our first one. And then for all of the menu items, so we'll go um, up through essentially ca um, count minus one. Uh, and then we're just going to call set menu item. And you might wonder why I don't just put this all together. I just kind of like separating um, 
uh, methods that work on a collection versus um, methods that work on an individual item. And that way those two things can change independently if you need to. And if you're doing um, testing, it's just easier to test the two out. And then now we can just do set menu item. And we need to know the index to do that. Because what we're going to be doing here is setting up um, setting up the the assignments of the menu items to, or sorry, of the um, inventory items to the menu items. So um, we're going to want some of that code that we had earlier. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And then what we want to do is we want to get an inventory item first, and we'll we'll get that from our inventory items at the given index and then um, we'll get the game object also at the given index and then from that point on we will just get our string label we will set up this is now menu item not new menu item so we'll set the label and again we want to <clears throat> on the uh, menu item game object, we want to set the, um, the displayed text to be the same thing as um, this label. And then uh, we will also want to set the actual item. Um, and I think that's it for that. And let's just see if that change uh, is still working. So we'll hop over to Unity. And we're getting a couple errors. Inventory item list is a type, but is used like a variable on five, uh, is that 58. Let's see. So, in, oh, sorry, it's not inventory item list, it's inventory item and then this should be item my bad okay so let's go over here so no more errors so i think we'll be good okay so things are still working so at this point um all we've really done is kind of uh, split up how this um, list gets built. Uh, so we split it up so that menu items get created in one pass and then items get assigned and um, become viewable in like another pass through set menu items. Uh, but we haven't actually really changed much. So this is where um, the sorting is gonna come in. We're gonna need um, a way to sort this list so that um, when we sort it, uh, when it gets rendered, it's, it's rendered in the sorted order and eventually we'll set it up so that we have triggers for setting different ways to sort. Um, so this is all just kind of like preparing for having um, different ways to do sorting in the future. Uh, so what I'll do here is uh, we're going to add a method called sort inventory items. And I'm just going to paste that in here. But all it's really doing is it's taking a property to sort on. So name in this case. Uh, and then it's just saying if property is equal to name, we're going to update the inventory items by sorting them or ordering them by um, a given attribute. So item.name. And then we're going to make that a list. And now all we have to do is go back up here and make sure that we're doing that sort before we add, before we set the menu items. So let's take a look at that. And if everything's working, we should see a, um, our list of menu items be in order alphabetically. And you can see uh, here, we've got all of our Daedric Swords first, then our Ebony, then our glass and our nightingale bow. So um, this is working. And um, yeah, this is a pattern you'll see. A, um, I, I like to use a lot when I do programming. I try to make um, 
the change I'm going to make easy first. And then um, when you actually go to make the change, the change is like relatively small. Um, so you're kind of setting yourself up for success and only um, really trying to focus on changing kind of one thing at a time. So um, even though this may not look like the most exciting thing, we're just um, statically sorting this list and rendering it. Now it's really easy for us to go in and just add buttons so we could sort by different um, property names or different properties. Um, and also in order to do that, we'll probably first want to go through and add different attributes because right now at the uh, at the moment items only have a name but we'll probably want to add like a weight and a price uh, maybe even a type like maybe we'll split out um, swords as a type or daedric as a type or weapons as a type or something like that but um, yeah thanks for following along with this video I'm going to be doing more in this series um, so yeah thanks for watching um, if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe. If you haven't hit the uh, bell, hit that if you want to get notifications. Um, yeah, leave me a comment too. Let me know how this is working for you. Uh, maybe let me know what kind of game you're looking at making or, um, you know, any other types of videos you're interested in seeing. Uh, but yeah, have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.